Hi, I'm Lisa. Hi, I'm Ernest. Uh, we're here working in immunobiology lab. What we're doing in this lab is we're taking a B cell and we're fusing it together with a so-called immortal cell, meaning that it will repeatedly divide over and over again. Once we get this new fused cell, we take it and we read it under ELISA plate reader in order to see if it secretes the antibodies that we want. We test B cell to see if they are secreting antibodies. Now, this, tool, this device will be able to detect non-sacrea cells from sacrea cells. We, uh, we take those uh, non-sacrea cells and throw them out and uh, keep the, uh, the sacrea cells. Uh, this device has a light, a, uh, a light source, illuminates the sample by using a specific wavelength and a light detector located on the other side of the wire measures how much of the initial light is uh, transmitted through the sample. Now, the amount of the tr uh, transmitted through the sample will be uh, related to the concentration of the molecule of interest. In this case, the molecule of interest will be the antibodies that are created by the, uh, the B cells. So if you look at directly at an ELISA plate, you can see there's difference in the color of yellow. Some wells have a darker yellow and others have a lighter shade of yellow. The reasons for this is because the color is directly proportional to how much antibody is inside each of the well. The darker the color, the more antibody is being secreted from those cells. The lighter the color, that means there's less antibodies being secreted. We take the sample that's in another plate and place it in the uh, Eraza plate reader. And then you, you want to make sure that it's in there like really good so you don't have problem closing the lid of the machine. And then you go on machine and, and place the button that says close and the machine will, will just close the lid. And once you get on the computer, you will be able to see your results on, on there. And there will be a little tab that says, I uh, start reading the, the, the sample, and you press that, ta uh, that tab, and then you start reading the sample. Uh, this device can also be used in a clinical diagnosis. For instance, if you've been infected by uh, HIV and has made an immune response, this, this device can detect those antibodies that are made by that, uh, that virus. And if they test positive, that means you've been infected by HIV. And if they, t they test negative, then you're not infected by that uh, virus.